Hey everybody, how are you? It started with Stampin' with Chaos. It is Wednesday evening and I thought I would hop on and do a Father's Day card. Um, I wanted to, to showcase our Take It to the Sky DSP with, uh, it's a bundle. Actually, it's a suite. It comes with the DSP, it comes with the Adventure Sky dies, and it comes with the Adventure Sky uh, stamp set. Isn't that awesome? I think this is just a really cool really cool stamp set and then the dies match the plane and the clouds and we're going to use this and then the paper is absolutely beautiful so it's got like the denim blues and the grays and then on back of this one is a copper clay and then it's got a green with a denim and then we've got the green planes with the grayish and then we got the clouds, which we're actually going to be using the clouds for part of us with the gray on the back. And then this looks like water, like when you, and then look at these planes. Oh, just love, 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 love this paper. And then it's got the, this one with the denim. And then it's got the airplane with the tags on the back. Isn't that cool? I absolutely love this this suite. I think this is going to be fun to fun to make some cards out of. We're going to try to make an interactive card. I I did it once. I've watched the video a couple times. I did it. I actually did the card. This is what it looks like. It's really not that hard. It's just if I can remember how to do it. <laughs> so it's kind of cool. Um. So anyways, what we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of copper uh, copper clay and make our card base. And that card stock, I'm going to go ahead and put you down so you can see. That card stock was five and three quarters by eight and a quarter. We scored it at a half an inch. I scored it at two and an eighth inch. And I scored it at a six inch. Um, I We are going to use our cloud dis, uh, DSP paper which I've already cut out and we are going to do that at, let's see if you guys can see, we are going to do that at three and three quarters by five and a half. So I'm going to go ahead, I kind of already did this and then I didn't like how it turned out so I took it off. Go ahead and adhere that. So that's going to be our first step. Okay. And then our second step is um, we're going to go ahead and we are going to stamp. I have two things to stamp here. We're going to stamp some clouds and we're going to stamp our airplane. And with that being said, I thought I got them ready, but I didn't. So we're going to take the airplane out, which is a pretty good size stamp. I need it to be... You want your block to be as big as your stamp because I, I, uh, you know, I don't always read everything, but you don't get the same pressure if you don't. So I'm going to use a bigger block on this one, and then we're going to do some clouds as well. And this one's pretty, uh, there we go. That way I can get the whole thing. I'll just turn it sideways. Okay. So the, the, those are the two stamps we're going to use right as of now. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to... Um, I'm going to stamp in our copper clay and that's what we're going to do our airplane in. So go ahead and do that. And we're going to get a good stamp on it because we are actually going to use our blender pen to color this. So you want to get a nice good ink on it. And I really like using this blender pen. All it is, it's called the blender pen. And it's in our catalog. You just take it and wherever you think you'd like to kind of shade it or color it, you just kind of go along. Can you guys see that? And it colors it in. Isn't that cool? So just in the spots where you think it needs a little bit more, you know, where the highlights are or whatever, you just go along and... Shade it in a little bit. Isn't that cool? 
It just adds a little bit of color. And sometimes if you don't feel like you've got enough ink, you can always do this and then shade some more. I'm not going to do it because we got plenty on there. Um, if your color is a like a lighter color, but this darker copper clay really worked out good. Just go along there and... Isn't that cool? Okay, so then we're going to put that to the side. And then we're going to do the same thing with our clouds. And we're going to use our boho blue. So let's go ahead and do the clouds as well. Sorry, I thought I had that one out too. And you don't clean the pen. Um, there we go. We're going to use the other end though. And you do the same thing. You just go along and try to get it. And if it doesn't, this one where the blue maybe isn't shining as, or coming out as much, you can definitely go over, add a little blue to it. There we go. Add your little scribble marks a little bit better. Kind of get a little bit more color. Isn't that neat? So easy to do. Then you're not having to color it all in and worry about your shading or anything like that. So fun. Okay. Then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut them out using our, um, our machine over here. So I'm going to turn to the side real quick and do this. Are you guys ready for Spring Fest for the weekend? You're going to go to the... Shoot, they've got uh, Quiet Riot, which is an 80s band playing Friday night. And then I think it's Slaughter afterwards is following. That'd be a good hard rock band if you're into hard rock. And then Saturday they got all the stuff going down at the park. And then they've got the parade. And then there's some more music Sunday night I saw. I, however, will be going to state softball, so I won't be going to any... I'm not going to go to any of the, I don't know why I used to love to go to the parade, but I just, I'm getting really bad about people. <laughs> I just, I just don't care for people. You could trim this white off, but we're going to put it under a deal. So you're not going to be able to see it anyways. And then there's your cut out the. I die cutted the plane. Isn't that cool? Okay, so then what we're going to do is we are going to get this ink out of the way so I don't ink myself. And we are going to take our trimmer and we are going to make a cut about a third of the way from the bottom. We're going to make a slit. So, and you don't want to go all the way across because, um, la, 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 why? Because you don't, you'll cut your card. So you want to just start on the inside, probably about an inch or so and go across, and I think I went too high, oh well. Okay, and then that gives you your slit where you're gonna put your, your tab to make your card interactive. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and stamp the inside of our card. And what did I do? I did the small airplane and happiest Father's Day. So we'll pull those out real quick. Do a quick stamp on those. Yeah, yeah. One granddaughter playing in Yakima, one gr granddaughter playing in Tri Cities, and both of them. One's two, I believe. Warden is two B, and the other one's four A. So, I'm my Friday is hopefully. You know, every time I say this, and something happens, and I don't get to go. But my the, my Friday plan is to go watch Warden because they play at ten. And then Moses doesn't play till 11. And then I'll stay and watch the Warden game. And then Warden is loser out. So if they lose, they won't go on. And then I'll just jet to Tri-Cities. But if they win, I'll compare the times. Um, this didn't get on straight. I'll compare the times and then decide where I need to be at what time. So, But that's going to that's gonna be my day. I'm going to be running back and forth. Okay, then we took a piece of white cardstock and I made a white tab. That's the only thing that holds this together. And it's two and three eighths by half an inch. And we're literally just gonna fold it in half. We're gonna get a good fold on it. I think that might've been my problem on the other one. 
And then all it does is it just goes in our slit. Make sure it goes through. Maybe. Have it. There we go. And half of it's going to be on the outside and half of it's going to be on the inside. Okay. So we're going to take... Let's do the inside first so that we can get this. So you're going to put this in here and then you're going to take your card and put it like, oh, I forgot to put my little niche. Forgot about that. You're going to want to put a little niche. So you either use a circle punch or some kind of a punch. We're going to use this one and you put a niche where you want it and that's, so I'm going to kind of center it. And that way you can see this and be able to pull it, right? Okay, so we're gonna take our little white tab and so the, the glue or whatever you're gonna put on it is gonna be right here. Shh. Whoops. And let me see what else I can find. There it is. We're gonna use the adhesive. I you probably you would not it would not be wrong to use the actual liquid glue or even maybe the the score tape might even be a little bit better um but we're gonna get this in here now you don't want it too tight because if you put it in here too tight then guess what it's not gonna slide in it's not gonna slide in and out right so we're gonna fake it and then pull it and make sure that it comes out so if it's like this Am I going to be able to pull it? So that's what you want to make sure of. So once you got that done, then you can go ahead and glue and um, put your little strip there and get that on there. And there we go. And I think, no, I didn't niche them both. Okay. Then we're going to take this and we're going to use our layering circle dies and we're going to make a circle a silver circle to kind of match it and the reason we're doing it is just to kind of make that tab a little bit more sturdy and I just use we do I do not have any stampin up silver paper so literally I just used some silver paper that I had because that kind of went with the deal and we're going to do the same thing we're going to put the just on the tab part because you want this to slide back and forth and then make sure that that it still moves i think i need to cut this niche out too let's get rid of that kind of line it up um, there we go maybe there we go and i'm not sure i was supposed to do that i kind of got the card okay so now we have it. Okay, so get that on there. And then we're gonna pop the plane, the plane on. Get him sticking on there as good as we can. You don't wanna glue it all the way down because it won't uh, move, right? So we're gonna glue it down here. And then we're gonna add these clouds right behind here that we, uh, but we're gonna add those onto the the tab as well. Um, so it moves with the the deal. Let's see. Let's see how I'm gonna do this. Uh oh. There we go. Okay. So then we're gonna slide it. Happy Father's Day. Isn't that cool? I absolutely love it. Do, do, do. You could do it with our little, uh, our truck, the old Ford truck. You could do, not obviously with the sky, but you could do a different background and do that. Super easy. You could do it for a kid's card. You could put like a little character. I've got some little kid characters that would be really cute. And if you wanted to, you could add more, you could add some doodads and stuff to it as well. I'm going to go ahead and just leave it like this. But anyways, I wanted to share this with you. I will get, I will uh, post the video and then also post all the supplies and the, size, the sizes for it as well. 
I hope you guys have a great night. Have a happy Memorial weekend. Be safe out there. How do you like my shirt? Of course, I talk to myself. Sometimes I need ex expert advice. I thought that was perfect for recording a video in because I'm sitting here talking to me and telling me what I should do and not to do. So anyways, have a great Memorial weekend and we will be talking to you soon. This is Darla with Stampin' with Chaos. Thank you.